the goal is to Welcome to go back again, AK756, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about iOS and Android. So this is basically going to be based on my own opinion. So I have both Android, Android, and Apple device, so I can judge which one's better. So let me start off with iOS. iOS is basically an operating system, a very, very intuitive operating system, as you can see. Select so unlock, and you can just go to any applications you want and just do your stuff, and it's really simple. Well, Android. You just unlock it, you have widgets. I'm not sure whether you guys can see it or not, but yeah. You have widgets, you have stuff. You can also download themes on Android, but you can't do it. Well, you can change themes on Apple, on iPads or iPhones, but you can't actually change the theme of the icon unless you jailbreak it, and it is not safe to be honest. Okay? Okay, right now I'm just gonna tell you guys which one is better. So, it is a balance. Okay, I'm I'm not biased. I love both Apple and Android, but I prefer I'm more to the Apple side. But doesn't mean I hate Android. I just love both. Okay, both are equal to be honest. But this just has more features. But this is more smoother and more faster and more fluid. Okay, so talking about OS, the, the latest OS for Apple is obviously the iOS 6.1.2. Well. This one for Android is um, Android 4.2, but I haven't experienced Android 4.2 since this one will take like next month for the newest update, which is the Android Jelly Bean. Because Samsung, I don't know why they gonna take forever to update their devices, but I don't care. <laughs> but I've seen some um, reviews on the Android 4.2. I think it's pretty good because they improve on the design a bit. The operating system, the UI, especially for the um, Android vanilla, like for instance the Nexus devices, yeah, I mean like pure Android vanilla. Okay, like this one has been sticking with the icons since 2009. But for me to be honest, I really love the design. I do not want Apple to change the design of the home screen and the intuitive stuff that's going on on iOS. Okay, now. For the downsides, like for the cons, okay, on both Android and Apple. Oh. Uh, let's start off with Apple. Um, Apple, I mean iOS, I do not like it is because I am a, I'm a big fan of widgets, so it doesn't have widgets and also Adobe Flash, Adobe Flash, sorry. But it has HTML5, which is quite better to be honest than Adobe Flash. Because it looks videos faster and you can just use the pinch to zoom to use full screen to watch it in full screen. It's not an open source, okay? It is a very safe source. It is not it won't it will never get viruses. Apple devices will never get viruses. That's plus. But for this one, what I do not like is um it crashed a lot, okay? And it kept restarting for no reason and I do not have an idea why. But I still love this thing anyway. Like for instance, like applications when I was like playing games and it just crashed obnoxiously. And sometimes I just put it in my pocket, it kept turning on itself, and sometimes it even unlocks itself, which is really, really irritating. But I solved the problem, which time I want to put it in my pocket, I just turn on my phone before I put it in my pocket. So this is just the minor um, comparison between Apple and Android. So like I said, a more Apple side doesn't mean I hit Android, but both are equal. In terms of um, features, they are equal basically, but in terms of awesomeness, I think they are pretty much equal. Like this one, even though this is this doesn't have the quad core processor, doesn't have the 1.5 gigahertz dual core processor, you don't know, it has only like one gigahertz dual core processor. Well this one has one point two gigahertz dual core processor, but this one is faster. But this one has more features. But this one is smaller. But this one you can have many stops in it. Okay? You can actually customize it and do whatever you want. So for me these things are both equal. But let me tell you this something. If you think of buying an Android product but then you think 
Apple is pretty cool, you gotta buy an Echo product. But let me tell you what, buy both. Buy both Apple and Android because it is really worth it. But for instance, if you do not have the feature you want on Apple, you can just always go to Android. And if you don't have the feature that you want on Android, you can always go back to Apple. So that's the deal. Right now, for now, I only have two Apple devices. iPad Touch for Generation, which I use the recorder now, and the iPad Mini. And this is my only Android device. But I used to have a tablet, but I gave it to my mom because I do not like it. It is slow, it is rubbish, but doesn't mean I hate Android, okay? Okay. So that's pretty much it. <clears throat> Thank you so much for watching the Graphic 6. And I'm pretty excited for the Samsung Galaxy S4. If you have any questions, just comment down below and reply as soon as possible. So take the Graphic 6 out and bye.